Okay, so what we've got here are the uh, Rentec engine bars for the Yamaha XJ6. You know, the Yamaha XJ6. And uh, what I thought I'd do is just give you a quick review of these because there aren't many reviews online for the Rentec engine bars. Uh, I've had a look at other things on the market like the genuine Yamaha engine bars and they um, they look fancy but I wasn't convinced that they do the job whereas these Rentec bars they look industrial and they look really sturdy but uh, again there weren't many pictures of these online not much to compare against so I thought I'd do a, a YouTube video for those of you who are interested and uh, see how they look right so let's first have a look at what's in their package okay so got it all unpacked came out a lot of bubble wrap um, it's quite difficult to get it free to be honest with you but uh, straight away they look a lot better than uh, what I thought they'd be uh, online the pictures really didn't do it justice uh, online the pictures look like they're just a few pipes welded together whereas these look a lot more uh, finished it's got a really nice powder coated paint job to it so it looks like it will ma uh, match the bike fine it also came with uh, some instructions uh, they're not the best instructions in the world and you are going to need the uh, the manual to get to uh, all the proper places. It says here I'm meant to have six washers, six spring washers, uh, but in the package I could only find four. So I'm going to see if I can do without them, or if not, then I'm just going to have to buy some online or contact Rentec themselves. Might not be worth the hassle to be honest with you for a few washers. But uh, yeah, so now we're just going to fit these to the bike, uh, see how they look and feel. Um, so yeah. Move on. Okay, so I got them all fitted on and bolted up nicely. Um, it was quite fidgety to get on. Some of the uh, holes didn't really line up, but uh, a little bit of doing it up and then undoing it and then doing it up again, kind of sorted it out. You can see it's uh, it looks pretty good actually. I mean, it looks really robust. It's really solid, so it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. As I said before, the pictures online really didn't do it justice. I mean, the pictures online make it look really out of place, but as you can see here, fits with the bike nicely. So yeah, they look like they're going to do the job. You can see there's quite a lot of clearance there. It looks like it sticks out quite a lot, but it really doesn't. I'm sure I won't even notice it when I'm on, on the bike. See everything's protected, if the bike goes over, it looks like it would do the job perfectly. Uh, while I fitted those, I also fitted on some bar ends by RNG Racing. Uh, if you can see that there, in focus. Which look pretty good. So yeah, now my bike's all protected up. If I lay it down, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So the, um, the engine bars and the handlebar ends all together cost me about 120 pounds which is a lot better than uh, say forking out insurance for doing any repairs to the bike but uh, yeah these, these look really good happy with those um, yeah so if you want to get some um, I, I recommend them especially if you're a new learner or first time biker on a big bike these although not full stunt cages as you find on stunt bikes uh, should do the job well all right so that's me uh, all done bike all protected might take her out for a spin thanks for watching